What's up, guys? So the top question I've been getting asked is how am I getting such good FPS this season? And honestly, the FPS has been really bad this season in general. But the thing I do to get a little bit of slightly better FPS than most people on Android is I do a 120 FPS glitch that not a lot of people know about, apparently, because I get questions about it all the time. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the 120 FPS glitch. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to Google and search aptoid download and then you're going to, want to press on the top link it should say aptoid dash apk download for android something like that go ahead and press the orange download button you're going to, want to download this app the reason we need to download this app is because this app lets you download older version of apps unlike the app store and one of the apps you need for this method does not work on the latest version you have to use one of the older versions if you have trouble finding the app once you install it off of Google, uh, what I did to, was I went to my files and I found the, the uh, download link really easily there. And you can just press install on that. Okay, so once you've made sure that you download AppToy and it's on your home screen, all you need to do is go to back to the Play Store and search multiple accounts. And it is the one that says multiple accounts colon dual space. You're going to want to head go ahead and install this app. And then go back into Aptoid, and you're going to search root browser. Cl root browser classic, sorry. And go ahead and search that. And it should be the top one. Instead of pressing install, however, you are going to press on new or other versions. And you're going to scroll down to the one that's five from the bottom. So, and... Um, <clears throat> This is the root browser classic that you are that you are going to be installing. Go ahead and press install on that version of it. Install again. And you might need to allow AppToy to download like apps or whatever. Just do that as well. I already did that off stream, so that's why you didn't see it. Or off uh, camera. Then what you're going to want to do is if you don't have Samsung Internet already downloaded, you're going to want to go to the Play Store and go ahead and download that as well. Samsung internet, here's what it looks like. If you have a Samsung or Galaxy device, you should already have this by default on your device, so you don't have to worry about that if you do. But if you don't, you do have to download that. Once you finish all those steps, you're gonna wanna go ahead and open multiple accounts app that you downloaded earlier, and you're gonna wanna go ahead and add Fortnite in there, and the plus, press the plus button again at the bottom right corner, and you're gonna wanna go ahead, it's glitching out, hold up. You wanna go ahead and add Samsung internet as well. It's taking a long time, so I'm going to go ahead and pause and skip. Okay, that took like 30 seconds. I don't know why, but yeah, we're back. Then you're going to want to go ahead and add uh, Root Browser Classic as well. It should be near the bottom in the R section. Yep, there it is. Root Browser. And those are the three apps you will be needing to add almost all accounts. So once you've added those three apps, you're going to want to go ahead and open Fortnite through multiple accounts. Just click the box and just click, just click the blue boxes, bro. Don't worry about this stuff. It doesn't really matter or affect it. And you're going to want to go ahead and update Fortnite. It's going to take probably the same amount of time it took you to download Fortnite the first time you did it. But it might, yeah, it might take a while, so I'm going to cut th through this as well. And once you update Fortnite, you're going to want to press on find my account and make sure you choose through Samsung Internet multiple accounts. Because if you choose Chrome or just normal Samsung Internet, it will not work. Once you have downloaded Fortnite, you're going to want to go ahead and confirm. Make sure you press low disk space because high disk space will uh, take up more storage and is overall so the next thing you need to do is open your settings and... Make sure you have 90 FPS or the highest FPS you get. You can get on and then make sure you have low quality presets along with having show FPS on. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and close Samsung internet. I mean, multiple accounts and Fortnite. Then go back into multiple accounts after closing it and open a root browser. Then you want to follow exactly as I do on screen. 
back, back, back. Data, data, com dot exos <coughs> dot multiple accounts. Game plugins, com dot epic games dot fortnite. Oops, hold up, don't do that. Don't hold it down, just tap it once. Files, Unreal game, Fortnite game, Fortnite game, saved, config, Android. And then finally, game user settings. Then you want to press open as, text file, RB text editor. Then you want to scroll down until you find mobile FPS mode. And you should, you're going to want to find, it should say 30 or 90 or 60. Just change it to whatever FPS you want. For me, since I have a 120 hertz tablet, I can get 120 FPS. If you only have a 90 hertz device, then you can only get 90 FPS and so forth. Then you're going to want to click save a bunch of times. So you know it saves and then close out the app again. Open multiple accounts again. Open Fortnite. And here's your proof. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.